hey it's mr b here again thank you for checking out my channel today we are going to make a matching card game all right so to start with the matching card game we're going to choose insert From there, we're going to choose uh, pictures and a picture from a file. And I've already prepared a few pictures I've downloaded from the internet. So let's grab a cover for a card. I'll pick this one. Once we have the card, uh, we want to resize it because we're going to make a few um, cards that are similar. So we want a few copy of the card. So next, we're going to go to Shape Tools. I'm going to pick the uh, rectangle tool, drag that over the card itself so I can get the exact same uh, size. Uh, generally, I like to use a solid color, so you can choose any color you want, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to pick um, a darker gray or black. And you can also change the gradient of uh, the shape itself. Um, I'll try this one. Once you have uh, the desired uh, color and shape, uh, just drag that off from the first card. And now we're going to animate it. Uh, start by going to uh, before we animate this uh, we want to name it so that um, you don't uh, Get lost in your work because we're going to be making many uh, multiple cards. So we want to keep track of everything. So I'll label this um, front and back one for now All right, once we have that labeled um, we can start animation. So we'll go to animation and for the first animation, we're going to do use the exit animation. And I generally um, like to use swivel, but you can use whatever you want for your animation. So I'll pick the swivel animation for the front card. And for the back card, I will um, choose um, reveal. and I'll choose the same animation. And I'll set that to five seconds as well. So once I have that, I want to um, do it again, but this time reveal for the front and set that to five seconds. And for the back, I want to do exit swivel. And I'll, I will also set that to five seconds. Now that we have front and back animation, um, I want to choose a trigger. So for the front, we'll choose trigger front one. So when we click on the front, it will trigger the back card. And for that, we'll choose for the timing for the back card, you want to choose after previous. And you want to do the same thing for the back. Once the back is revealed, um, So I want to pick the back and the trigger is back one. We'll just drag that under back one and then we'll choose after previous. So when, when the front is clicked, the back will be revealed and when the back is clicked, the front will be revealed. Let's 
test this out, first we'll just drag this over the, um, the back card, over the front card, highlight everything, and then go to um, align. And we'll just want, we just want to align center and aligned middle so that everything lines up. Or you can just drag it until it goes over the card. And if you think it's correct, then um, we can start from there. All right, let's try it again. Align center or align middle. All right. So let's test it out. So click on the front and the back should be revealed. Now we click on the back, the front should be revealed. Now we'll just make uh, multiple copies of the cards. So just highlight everything. I'm using a MacBook, so I hit Command C for copy, but you can just right click over the image um, and choose copy. So again, highlight everything, right click, make sure you get both cards, right click. Go to copy, and now you can paste the cards. I'll do a couple of these, make sure they line up correctly. We'll highlight everything, make sure everything is copy, command C, and then command V to paste. All right, I think we're almost finished, so let's check it out. Let's click on the front, looks good. Now we can use uh, this reveal game for uh, many things. You can practice grammar and vocabulary, or Q&A, question and answer, or you can do a uh, matching game picture to picture. So it's all up to you. Um, you can do whatever you want. But for this demonstration, we're just going to keep it simple. And we are going to write a question and then match it to an answer. So. Uh, we'll try that for this demonstration. Again, if you want to edit uh, the back card, instead of writing a question, um, you just click on the back card itself, right click and go to change image. And then from, from a file, you can just select a picture and it should replace the square, the rectangular, rectangular shape with a picture. So I'm just making sure everything aligns correctly here and we'll work a little faster. If you guys enjoy like these sort of contents and you want to see more of it, please uh, don't forget to um, write or suggest that in the comment sections below and I'll check it out and I'll see what I can do for a tutorial for the next video. All right, let's just do a few more here. So I've been reading your comments lately and you've been asking for more um, PowerPoint games. Um, I will be uploading a few more PowerPoint games soon, so please keep your uh, notification bell on so that you can get those um, uh, my latest videos and uploads. Alright, just a few more here and then we'll test out the, um, the PowerPoint matching game. You can also add sound files to this afterwards by going to animation, which is on the right side there, 
and clicking on the animation itself and then going um, to sound file and adding sounds later into this to make it even more interesting. So here we are, let's test it out. Let's click on the front to reveal the answer uh, question and then we'll, we'll look for the answer, the matching answer. All right, that looks good. Awesome, looks good. All right, everything seems to work here. Cool. All right, if you guys enjoy my video, on how to make a matching card game, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you can be updated with the latest materials that I will be putting up on this channel. Again, thank you for checking out my video. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.